good job, you know, way to share it. And like, you know, I've had Doug, Doug was on our call um, last week and just sharing all his tips and tricks. And, you know, the guy stayed up late, I think almost till uh, 11 p.m. or midnight to make sure he finished the call and finished all the questions. So I really applaud him for that. So here, I admire that behavior. I, I resent the other behavior. And I want to come from, or at least be presented as somebody that's sharing. Now, I've already created coaching codes out there. It's something I felt that the, the, the community needed. Um, you know, some corporate folks have thanked me for it because it's hard to develop everything with all the corporate red tape and get it up there and make it perfect and then, you know, be responsible for everything. And I'm not saying coaching codes is perfect, but it's a tool that people use and it helps. Now, I know this other tool um, can help too. So I've, I've struggled with how to do that. But now looking at it, I, I understand that people that look at me with this tool, like, just resent me. Jason's doing so well. So many other people have helped, you know. Um, so I've decided there at that moment and thinking about it over the course of the last weekend, like, I just need to do that. The, the problem for me is I know the tools to make it in Excel. I don't know the tools to put it online. So I have to hire experts to do it. And then I don't want to give it away to some company in India and, like, not understand where it's going to go. And they sell it to every other MLM out there, you know, and just not have somebody else profit from the work I've done. So I have to hire an expert trainer, college professor, works, you know, I spend hundreds of dollars per hour, he trains me how to do it, we work on it, you know, I have him do some of the hard stuff, I do the easy stuff, and I end up maintaining it. Or, you know, I have folks on the team help me maintain it. And that's the way coaching codes works, no joke. But what I'm committed to do now is, you know, to get, to, to pay that individual, to learn how to make this automated sponsorship drill done work. And what happens is you download your sponsorship drill done, you put it on the website, you hit one button, it's gonna calculate everything. I, I'm not gonna save any data, like, I don't care about that. Like, I don't wanna know what your downline is. That's, I don't have enough mental capacity to compare your downlines. So there's not gonna be any history saving or anything like that in the background, I don't know how to work that. But if this is a tool that coaches can use, star diamonds can use to see when they're qualifying and make sure that they're gonna qualify and run within minutes, and you know maybe minutes of, of the closing um, on Wednesday night to make sure that they have their ranks. Because for me, like if I think I'm gonna maintain my rank, that makes me feel one way, I feel pretty calm. If I'm not sure, like I haven't checked, like I'm nervous and I don't know what's going on. But if I check and I know that I know that I'm gonna have my rank, like I'm confident, I'm cool, collected, proud, like you know, whatever, like I can keep rolling. So that's what I wanna help provide for others. So. I just really want to thank Tracy and um, Doug for getting that training out there and showing what, coming from a place of abundance rather than coming from scarcity, come from love instead of fear and, and what sharing, you know, not only looks like to do but looks or, you know, feels like for other people that are experiencing the sharing or not experiencing. And I just want to thank them for that message and hopefully that the second tool, and I believe what we're going to put it eventually, I mean... You can look now, there's nothing there. It's going to be um, coachcalc.com. So a coaching calculator helps you calculate your rank. or It might be rank calculator. I don't even remember. Uh, I have the domain name already. <laughs> Probably have both. Um, so I want to get that tool out there and, hopes it help, and hope it helps everybody else. So just a little message today. If I had to title it, you know, it's kind of about greed. Like, you know, how much is going to be enough, you know? And, and, and when you're successful, like, do you get more successful by sharing or by hoarding? And if you look at, you know, successful cultures throughout history, they get too successful, they become compliant, they don't share, and then they get overthrown. And I don't want any of us to get overthrown. I see more and more with the different networks coming online. Whenever we go the route of dirty politics, whenever any, po any politician goes the route, 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 route of dirty politics, it just makes that politician dirty. So let's, let's always... I'm going to go back to Abraham Lincoln here, but use the example Abraham Lincoln set. Like, never talk down about somebody else. Like, if we're talking gossip, like, we're just, we're the one that's, you know, discredited in that. So, let's try to go the high road. Let's try to, if we can all make, if we can all contribute with one little tool like coaching codes or the the simplified network or social media training, um, and we can all share those amongst ourselves. We get to the million coaches. We get to the point where we're helping 100 million people. And then, you know, Beachbody is the fitness solution that Carl has dreamt about uh, years and years now. So I would just, um, again, I thank those folks for helping to inspire me. And I hope that somehow my little tasks can help to inspire you to come from a place of abundance and sharing too. 
All right, thanks everybody for your time. Uh, just keep bringing it, man. Coaching, fitness, diet, nutrition. We have to know our why and strive to achieve that why every day. If it's not strong enough to make you cry, if it doesn't want to make you get out of bed early in the morning, it's not strong enough. Keep working and keep thinking about it. Um, if you can't think about something you want to do, think about things that you don't want to do. Think about things you hate and, and work to avoid those things. Um, just keep bringing it, everyone. All right? X2. Oh, my God, I'm driving. Never do this at home. <laughs> All right, later, everybody.